right after my previous Z image table video, Control Energy Union 2.1 was released. For the first time, Z image table now supports in painting through Control Net with creative control without rebuilding your entire image. So, in this breakdown, I'll show you exactly how to download and install Control Net Union 2.1, update your existing workflow using the Z image fan Control Net node, then we build a clean in painting workflow from scratch for final quality results. So, to get started first visit the page here to download the fan control net union model click on files and versions the list of models here have been updated and a few days ago the eight step model has also been released however i'll download the 2.1 as the latest version since the workflow uses a dual sampling process go ahead to click here to download save the file into your directory let's go to models select model patches folder then save it here as you guys can see after that go to your update folder then run the update file here to upgrade comfy ui once your update is down, let's go ahead to start Comfy UI using the run.b80 file. Inside Comfy, to get started, I will go ahead to upload my previous workflow I have created using the first control net for Z image. This video will carry on from my previous Z image control net tutorial, so make sure to see that first for a step by step guide to create this workflow. Now, I'll give you a basic walkthrough of how to update this workflow if you are already using Z image table. First, let's zoom onto the first group. This group loads the required models for the workflow. For the load diffusion node here, I'm using the original base model BF16. The clip model is Quen 3 4B, then the type is set to Lumina 2. Next is the VAE node. This node loads the flags VAE model AE.safe tensor. The remaining prompt and overall structure stays the same. I will pan to the second group which handles the sampling process. In each case sampler in this group, there's a new sampler name here, EXP Huen 2 xo So select that, then change the scheduler to simple. You can also change your seed number, then go to the second case sampler, use the same sampler name and scheduler here as well. So in the sampling group, we will just modify the case sampler settings. Next, let's zoom out, then pan to the control net group. In the original tutorial, this uses the Quen node for applying the control net. But now we double click on the canvas, then search Z image fan. Select the node here, Z image fan control net. This node can take a control map conditioning and also do in painting as well, which I'll demonstrate later in the video. Now match all the input slots the same way into the fan control net node, except for the in paint image slot and the max slot. For better results, lower the strength between 0.6 to 0.9. I'll pan down on the canvas then the output slot joins the model input slot of K sampler one. We can go ahead to delete the node here. And after that, I'll zoom in here, simply swap the model from the old model to Control Net Union 2.1, which we have just downloaded. Once again, the overall workflow stays exactly the same. Now let's first test this for the new Control Net conditioning. Then later we test the in-painting feature. Drag any image you want to influence your prompt into the load image node. For the preprocessor, I'm using Depth Anything V3. After that, I'll pan to group one, zoom in closer. Let's clear the old prompt. Then I'll paste my new prompt here to describe the image I want to generate. I'll pan to the right to the empty latent image. Then make sure to adjust the size properly based on the reference image size you have. So you do not have your image cut off like I experienced earlier. Let's change the width to 1296. Then the height will be 1728. I'll zoom out from here, then we go up, we hit run. This is not too difficult, right? All right, the job is done and completed and let's zoom in to view the final results. 
Okay, so we can notice the image result is excellent following my prompt input. And I really like the creative freedom of the model following the same pose and conditioning of the reference image. So I have tested this with different prompts and theme variations, which all gave me some inspiring results. Now let's test the same union model for an in-painting workflow. I'll export this as ControlNet Union 2.1. Next, I'll open a new tab here, then I'll open the control net workflow we have just exported. So let's modify this workflow for in-painting using Z image. First of all, go to the manager, custom nodes manager, search for the custom node LAN paint. This is a universal in-painting and out-painting sampler. And once you click on the name here, you can go ahead to read more about this custom node from the page here. So if you don't have this custom node yet, click to install it. Mine has already been installed as you guys can see. So I'll go back, then also restart Comfy UI to complete your installation. I'll close then back to the workflow. I'll zoom onto the sampling group. Double click on the canvas, let's type LAN paint. You should see this node here if you installed it correctly. This node will replace the K sampler nodes for the denoising process. Disconnect the K sampler input slots same way respectively into each slot into the LAN paint node. We can delete the K sampler, then I'll drag this up, link the latent into VAE decode, then let's delete the other K sampler. Easy, right? We have simply replaced the dual sampling process with the in painting node. After that, let's pan down to the third group. Let's zoom closer, and for a better understanding, I'll delete all the nodes here for ControlNet to build the in painting workflow from scratch. So let's use a different image I have here. Right click on the image, select Open in Mask Editor. Draw around the area you want to apply changes depending on your creative direction. Once you're done, save the mask. Next, double click on the canvas, then type Image Scale. Select the node here image scale to total pixel. This node will resize the image pixel and still keep the same aspect ratio. Now we'll upscale the pixel into a specific dimension for the latent image size. Drag out the upscale image, go to search type Z image fan control net. Make sure to disconnect this from the image slot into the in painting image slot. Moving on, let's connect the mask as well. So I'll drag the mask we have just painted. Go to search, then let's resize this first. Next, double click, we type grow mask with blur. This node will feather the edges of the mask we painted so it's not too sharp. And then we can change the blur results to 14. After that, link the mask into the fan control net node. Lower the strength here between 0.6 to 0.9. So far, this is all clear to follow, right? Moving on, double click and we type get image size. This node will extract the dimensions from the reference image. Then we can return the width into the width and the height into the height to maintain the original image size. Once we have the image properly connected, as we can see, let's zoom on to the fan control net node. The VAE here will be auto connected using the use everywhere node. Next, we drag out the model patch, select model patch loader. Click on the name, then load the same union control net model 2.1. Now to get a model, we'll zoom out from here. Let's move just a bit closer, then drag from sampling aura flow node into the model slot. After that, this goes out from the fan control net node into the model land paint case sampler. Easy, right? And we are nearly there. Let's delete the latent image from here to automate the image resolution. So we pan down to the in paint workflow, drag out the upscale image, we select VAE and code. Next, double click and search set latent. We select the node here, set latent noise mask. This node will take both the latent and the mask, then modify the areas with the applied noise mask. After that, drag the latent output up into the latent slot here of the case sampler. 
we zoom out from here and i'll highlight all the notes here then let's place them into a group we rename this to in paint group i'll zoom out from here and this was all easy simple to understand and follow right however let's test the workflow if every node is connected properly i'll zoom onto group one let's instruct the model to change the outfit based on the mask we have saved a man wearing a blue and red superman costume then panning to the right let's also adjust the settings of the land paint k sampler for the seed number we can use any number change this to be fixed you can lower the steps here to 15 cfg we set to 1 sampler name choose res multi-step from my testing with other samplers scheduler select simple land paint number of steps here we decrease this to one then let's zoom out to view the entire workflow we go up from here and then we hit run all right the job is done let's get closer to see the results we can notice the outcome looks really good with the costume well fitted comparing this to the original we can see how the in painting turned out and i'm very happy with this the union model did an excellent job both for control net and in painting however we can notice this is still at a lower resolution so to fix this i have included an upscale group to further enhance the image for each of the workflows giving it a much clearer picture for each generation this is a larger size compared to our first generation because the upscale is 1.5 times and the denoising is set to 0.4 adding more sampling always upgrades the overall details of any image and you can access this in the creators resource library if you are a member overall this upgraded union model is better than the previous one so you guys can try this workflow with the new model and compare the results for yourselves if this video was a helpful guide do not forget to leave a like and a warm welcome to all the new channel members and every resource creator i appreciate all your support a good prosperous new year to everyone and if you wish to learn this workflow step by step in the beginning watch this video for a complete tutorial and i'll see you all in the next video